On today's episode of Anish Thing, we are talking about how not to kill plants. Now, let's face it, a lot of us got plants during the lockdown and a lot of us end up killing them. So in today's conversation, we'll basically learn how to not do that. I'm speaking with Komal and Angad, who started The Plant People. They're a very well-known nursery based out of Bombay. So let the conversation begin. Hello, 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 everybody. It's been another great week on the IVM Podcast Network. Varta Lab is back with its fourth season. Join Akash Mehta and Naveen Narona as they talk to a range of guests with funny and insightful anecdotes. Don't miss their first episode with actor Vishal Malhotra. On Future Proofing, Eklavia is joined by Dr. Pawan Rane. They discuss the role of the metaverse in healthcare. On Simplified, the hosts discuss how technical breakthroughs will help the viewing experience of the upcoming FIFA World Cup. On Cyrus Says, Cyrus talks to actor Sunny Kaushal. They talk about his early days in theatre, his breakthrough performances, and belonging to a film family. And on the Musafir story, solo traveller Ayush gives us a glimpse of the hill town Kanur and his famous toy train. I'd like to remind you all about our merchandise once again. We got some amazing stuff out there with more coming soon. But go to the IBM Podcast website and check out our collection of t-shirts. You have to click on the shop tab and we'll take you to our partner Grow91's website. Do follow us on social media. We're IBM Podcast on Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, and LinkedIn. And remember, if you're enjoying this show or any of our other shows for that matter, please do tell a friend. Hey, you want somebody to talk to your shows about, right? So talk to them about them. Also, don't forget to rate us on any platforms you're listening to us on. And remember, you can check us out on YouTube. And finally, we would like to thank our sponsors this week, Bode Lifestyle, Small Case, Cap Gemini, and Intel V Pro. Thank you so much for making this possible. Well, welcome to the show, Komal and Angad. I've been a customer of Plant People. I think a lot of my friends are as well. And good to have you both. Before we get into the conversation about how to set up plants at home and more importantly, how not to kill them, I would love to hear a little bit about your journey and how Plant People came about. So, um, Angad is from an advertising background. I'm from a television background. We were both doing different things until five, five and a half years ago. And uh, when we got together... We sort of realized we have a common psychosis, shared psychosis for plants. <laughs> so then, um, like, we were constantly getting plants for the house. Tempo bhar bhar ke, you know, bade bade. Ye. Tempo bhar bhar ke, oh, tem- the house? Quite literally, yeah. 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 We yeah. thankfully were lucky enough to have a driveway, a oh, nice. front yard, etc. So yeah. tempo bhar ke is possible. <laughs> <laughs> so that, that was constantly happening and... Uh, you know, jo, friends would joke, family would joke, that why don't you make a tree, why don't you start to So we just... Yeah, so quite literally, <laughs> that was it. Like, we were on the terrace one day in Gurgaon. Uh, so, we're from Delhi otherwise. So, we're in Gurgaon at uh, my Delhi place and my mother walks up one day and says, ki, you know, enough, matla, why, you guys should just start doing this for a living and mali ban jau. And she remarked and I think from there it sort of turned into a side project where, you know, we continued with our... Uh, respective uh, careers but we started dabbling with this on the side and one thing led to another and pretty much turned into a full-blown business yeah for yeah us. i think we just kind of yeah it started as a real passion project on the side and it just kind of snowballed into what it is today. and i hold how old is plant people now five and a half years amazing five little over half, five yeah. and a half yeah very <laughs> cool okay so getting into if i come to uh, the nursery and I say I want plants at home how would you go about guiding me in terms of uh, and I'm a complete noob as well so in terms of what are my options what should I look at sunlight rain like any factors and how, how do we start with just distilling down what the options are so yeah. usually we um, we would you know typically ask anyone who enters the nursery ke, uh, if you're carrying pictures then it makes things a lot easier pictures of your space I mean uh, it just makes things a lot easier because we can check out the kind of light that you're getting and, you know, accordingly uh, uh, sort of recommend uh, varieties uh, as well as probably have a look at the decor overall and, you know, accordingly, if there's look-wise something to be kept in mind, then we can also recommend accordingly. But yeah, even if not, then we would uh, typically ask you to describe uh, your space. Um, apart from your space, uh, what you do also would uh, kind of uh, play a role because... Uh, some people stay alone, some have a largish family set up, some will have a lot of help. Pets are there or s- some clients, they'll say we travel for long periods. So yeah. we'll recommend certain plants which you can water once in a fortnight, you know. Uh, and like you said that, you know, 
the basics are what kind of light do you get you know is it west facing does it get a lot of direct sun is it in the shade uh, what kind of ventilation is there do you have pets in the house are you looking for a tall plant or a short plant or do you want a plant for a table top so these are the kind of basic questions that we run through because sometimes clients don't know what they've come looking for yeah they 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 think that okay i've got a corner between the two sofas in the living room i want to put something there correct it'll be as vague as that you know and then then we'll start with these questions you know if it gets a lot of light we'll recommend maybe a fiddle leaf tallish <coughs> one you know if it's a darkish space we'll recommend something that's more suitable for low light if it's very dark and they want a tall plant we'll say you buy a planter stand and then we put a short plant like a zz which is you know so there it's just a matter of working out the right combination and it happens through that to and fro of what do you want what is the space like you know what kind of pot what kind of plant and then and of course it helps to have like all kinds of options in the store and uh, but yeah it's a process and we pretty much have to go through that with every customer that walks in you know uh, and it it does take up a lot of our time but yeah. i think that's what's kind of helped us build very lasting relationships with from probably most of our clients you know they yeah. come back to us and they trust us on uh, the 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 choices that we make for them essentially we are choosing for them yeah Yeah, like if you were to tell me that Komal, you know, I want plants in this studio. Come, let's buy from your place. I would say no. We'll actually say no. Don't. You know, I would say I would don't want to just make that sale. Correct. Anyhow, I would say no. Don't put plants here unless you can really move them every day. Yeah. You know, do that exercise, and which, which from experience we've seen most people don't do. They will promise it the first day. First few days they'll do it so, because it's a new thing. You know, it's exciting to also take care of something. But after a point, you get busy with your stuff, yeah. and you end up, and you're also thinking, "Ha, thiki to lag raha hai na." So the plant will show signs of uh, trauma only after a period. Yep. So till that time, it's probably too late. Anyway. What I've seen is my my one plant is doing perfectly fine at two o'clock in the afternoon, and when I come back at five, it's suddenly dead. <laughs> I was like, "What happened here?" <laughs> no, but that does happen. So uh, certain plant varieties, they look happy. They look perfectly fine. So I, I remember this one incident. from when i was a kid and areca palms were pretty much the house plant you know for the longest time in our country and especially in delhi it's not a very indoor friendly market at least 20 years ago in terms of plants or money plants or money plants so we used to have this beautiful areca palm like an 8 foot one at the entrance it's thriving it's growing it's beautiful one day it's all the <coughs> stalks bent fell turned brown and the whole plant disappeared damn and we were wondering <laughs> what happened I think there was something in the soil, or maybe it didn't get watered enough. But it was pretty much this: one day it's fine, Monday it's perfectly healthy, and Tuesday it's gone. You know, so one has to pay close attention to monitoring plants regularly. You can't just take it for granted. You know, you think it's doing fine. I don't have to do anything. So it's a lot of hard work. It's a lot of. It's like having a pet. Yeah. You know that basically doesn't run around and dirty the place. <laughs> so it's a better pet in that sense. Uh, but uh you have to establish some sort of an understanding with a pet can't communicate to you it can't tell you much the same way a plant can't really tell you in words yeah. but you have to kind of keep keep getting an idea through how are the leaves looking is it drooping is it looking you know fresher today how did it do in a particular corner in the house with brighter light how did it do in a corner with lesser light so it is a lot of uh, interpersonal judgment that one has to use to kind of get a sense of we can give you broad guidelines yeah. you know it suitable for low light water less water moderately or water daily you know but one has to sort of find that uh, yeah. balance with the plant you know uh, individually yeah, like we do try and tell even right now during peak monsoon when clients are walking in asking for plants we are being very clear about the fact that dekho right now you may not need to water it as much but uh you know when it's peak summer you will need to uh, sort of be a little intuitive about the whole thing and check soil just as you would change you know your uh, general wardrobe for a particular season etc fair it's the same thing yeah. with plants so you know even light changes as per seasons so you have to account for that right now we are dealing with a lot of gloomy days during the monsoons but that changes you know so um you may have gotten a plant in the summer for a particular spot which may need a change of position now because 10 days in a row there's absolutely no sun so one has to account for those kind when is committing to all that yeah. when one is getting a plant home so like and if we get into specifics so plants like birds of paradise fiddle leaf figs 
ड्रैकोज ट्रैवलर्स पाम यू नो दीज आर दीज आर पॉपुलर इंस्टा पिंट्रेस्ट प्लांट्स विच यू नो आर डूइंग क्वाइट वेल नाउ डेज नाउ दीज प्लांट्स लाइक ब्राइट लाइट एंड देर गुड इन द समर नेक्स्ट टू अ विंडो और इन अ स्पेस विच इज मे बी टेन फीट अवे फ्रॉम द विंडो बट इन द मानसून वी जनरली रिकमेंड दैट यू मूव द प्लांट क्लोजर टू द विंडो और प्रेफरेबली इन एन आउटडोर स्पेस इफ यू हैव अ स्मॉल बैल्कनी बिकॉज फिफ्टीन डेज ऑफ यू नो ओवर कास्ट वेदर कैन हैव अ नेगेटिव इम्पैक्ट ऑन दीज प्लांट्स सो इट्स अ मैटर ऑफ काइंड ऑफ यू नो हैविंग अ सेंस ऑफ वॉट द वेदर इज लाइक एंड हाउ टू मैनेज स्पेशली द ट्रिकियर वराइटी लाइक द फिडलीफ इज अ नोटोरियस वराइटी इट कैन इट कैन मिस बिहेव वेरी क्विकली इफ इट डजेंट गेट इनफ लाइट think uh, a lot of this we'll end up discussing later in the more mm. in the maintenance part theek mm. hai i think if uh, if now we can get into the <clears throat> overall varieties of plants uh, one can look at yes yeah, so if you can take me through the overall varieties so one more thing just on the selection that komal kind of scratch the surface is uh, we pay a lot of uh, focus on the right planter as well okay you know uh, because depending on the kind of space is it modern is it rustic is it very clean neutral what kind of colors work pastels or bright colors so with the plants we pretty much take an interest in terms of helping clients pick out the right pot as well for their space you know uh, so that's another and uh, even in terms of the pot not just look wise uh, even sometimes the functionality of the pot vis-a-vis the plant that you're getting Uh, matters because like suppose you get a zz or zz plant or a snake plant their roots are very thick and they're very rigid right they're like uh, uh, they're almost like potatoes the roots on the zz um if you get a pot which is kind of tapered on the top then after a point you'll have to, have to either sacrifice the pot or the plant because you cannot repot it without breaking so those kind of things also one should kind of think about when uh, when getting plants because Also, sometimes, in especially in places like Bombay, um, if you get a very closed mouth kind of a pot, your the soil inside may not dry up uh, soon enough. So you may not be actually overwatering your plant, but you'll end up killing it because it's just not drying. I assume planters were pretty much. Uh, I I did not under know about the functionality bit at all. I I assumed all of them are. Pretty Most much people the same. don't kind of pay attention to that, but it is uh, another thing that will play a role in the longe- longevity of the plant. Great. So, can you take me through some uh, like the basics of plant varietals, succulents, or like these kind of things? So, uh, there are succulents which are uh, insanely popular, um, but they are completely wrong for Bombay weather. Okay. If uh, if we, I mean, we are talking about Bombay because we are a Bombay-based nursery, but yeah, they would uh, be happier in places like Delhi. They are desert plants technically, so they would like drier places. In Bombay, it's very easy to kill succulents. People are constantly buying and killing them. We have killed enough and more ourselves. So those are one variety. Um, cacti are also succulents. Cacti are far more hardy. Uh, they will still go through a decent amount of abuse and overwatering, and still, you know, still forgive you till a certain period of time. Um, then you have your uh, tropicals, and we are blessed like that because there's a huge number of plants under the tropical variety, and they're all beautiful, large leaves, you know, lush-looking fellows. So your travelers' palms, your monsteras, alocasias, mm, uh, a lot of a lot of the uh, uh, actual palm varieties. Travelers' palms are not actually true oh, really? palms; they're okay. just called palms. But your other palm varieties, like the fan palm, areca palm, raphis palm. um lot of those are uh, very you know happy to stay in our kind of weather and that's pretty much throughout india wherever you want to no so then uh, so these are uh, these are for instance the bigger plants that we're talking about there is a, there is also a pretty big market now for imported varieties you know there are a lot of plants which are being imported uh, from all <coughs> over the world uh, which are conducive to our tropical weather we can't just bring in a plant from anywhere and sort of yeah. plant it here but uh, so usme then you have uh, you have a lot of draco and dracaena varieties which are being imported there's pachira or the money tree plant that's another that's another very very popular plant nowadays comes in various forms and sizes the braided one the you must have seen yeah i have seen the braided ones uh and so so these are the biggest plants they they they're even uh, olive olive plants have become su- supremely popular now you know uh, that's another so those come from spain for instance they you know they are fucking expensive very expensive like very very expensive how expensive are we talking <laughs> like you we'll have to be you we'll have to beep that out <laughs> uh, depending on the size they can go anywhere from say yeah. 25k to some few lakhs we know of plants crazy. which have been sold for like 60 lakhs 60 lakhs olive trees in our country yeah. not wow. by us yeah. but in, they have been sold 
in India. In India, you actually get olives out of them. No. They're ornamental. They're olives. ornamental. <laughs> like Sixty lakhs. Huh? Olive bini nikla. <laughs> could have could have got some beach paintings <laughs> instead. <laughs> so it the, the so the market is quite crazy in that sense you know uh, then of course you've got kelethias for instance then there are groups of plants you you can go into philodendrons you can go into kelethias and by themselves they'll yeah, have hundreds within those, of there are hundreds you know, of varieties uh, people are constantly also creating newer hybrids so there are new varieties on the market every day so that's like a never ending kind of a thing um if if we talk about commonly um, preferred house plants or most yeah. plants that people know about yeah. or have seen on instagram etc mm-hmm. then those would be your monsteras and zzs lot of snake plants um succulents uh, cacti some of most people don't like we love cacti they're uh, they're really awesome i thought all hipsters enjoy cactus like there has to be one on a desk along with a because The thing is, they'll only call us then, saying that help me revive it, and there is no way you can revive it. If you've kept it in a shaded corner of an AC office, after a, it'll it'll do very well for a month, month and a half. One day it'll just implode like that. It's you like know? goldfish; they'll uh, be fine, and then they're gone. <laughs> so, so some we at the risk of coming across as rude, uh, we have had to say no to clients on. based on common sense ki you can't be buying this plant for this space sometimes they still insist and then they buy and then they kill and then they buy the same plant again uh yeah, like, but it's it's you know our job is to kind of give as much info as we can beyond that it's it's is not so up what to us. would be what would be your suggestion on let's say how many ever plants you can come up with whether it's 3 5 7 10 hmm. uh that you would recommend for people to have in a home or an office environment where maintenance may not be that big a deal so uh, palms are easy palms are also very common so a lot of people want to you know uh, look wise stay away from them and do something nicer monsteras though they look exotic are extremely easy to care for um the most obvious options would be a zz or a snake uh, plant variety within that also there are varieties that you can uh, play with like you have the zz raven which is the black glossy gothic looking fellow then there's a dwarf zz variety which is the zz zenzi um then the regular green zzs within the snake plants again there are hundreds of snake plant varieties so actually if you want to you know really commit to keeping extremely easy plants within the snake plant varieties and the zz also you can just play around those and do up your space with that and uh, that's done but yeah um, monsteras palms snakes and zzs no so wait so within these so like in palms uh, there's, there's a variety <coughs> called the palo palm the nice and bushy very hardy do fairly well in low light spaces then there's the raphis palm you know so it's 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 a it's a question of how exotic do you want it and finding the balance in terms of how easy should yeah. it be to maintain you know so it's and that's something you'll sort of get a sense of with time you know you'll buy a parlor palm for instance and you'll keep it for a certain period of time 6 months later you'll be like boss ye pareshan nahi kiya mere ko you know then you'll say I'll buy two more of these. So we kind of tell clients to go easy. You know, you'll come and say I want to buy fifty plants. We'll ask you how comfortable are you with plants. You'll say our first time. Yeah. Kind of go slow, and if you must buy the fifty, you buy fifty of the ZZ or the Parler or the Snake <coughs> or similar hardier varieties. Especially when you're doing them indoors. Outdoors, it's a lot more forgiving because plants have a lot more ventilation and light. You know, so you can sort of uh, play around with the varieties. but indoor may we generally recommend clients to start slow now whatever their number is that number might be 5 10 typically if you ask me for a bedroom if you want to buy a plant we'll say you either buy one statement plant okay to put in the corner and if you want to buy more buy one for a little counter top and buy a shorter one again to keep in a corner somewhere the the simplest way to identify spaces is corners actually if you want to buy plants identify the empty corners in your house you know or if you want to move a lamp and put something else there that's the best way or pillars or columns or walls where you really don't have anything in front of them 
you know or spaces between sofas tables furniture so that's one way of identifying the number of spots as well and that's generally how it pretty much works you know uh, mm. in terms of how many plants to put and I, I, i like what you said statement piece right like a statement plant yeah yeah because uh, if it's a really nice large fellow uh, you can pretty much replace a random statue or a you know like a lamp or something and just kind of commit that corner for a plant and uh, people are moving towards that a lot because um, <clears throat> when you're thinking of indoor plants in places like bombay the rooms are so small you step Correct. and kamra khatam to ka kya kitna hi kya karoge window sill mein bhi hardly kuch jagah hai to then you know then that big dash of green uh, helps a lot and uh, you know it's it's there it's impact and uh, moving away from uh, of course bombay has a lot of limitations humidity small spaces stuff like that hmm. but let's say you're in bangalore or delhi right and right. Uh, we have listeners from uh, across right. the country now right. so uh, anything which is more uh, suitable for them versus let's say a bombay uh so again uh, most of these varieties will be uh, happy in uh, delhi and bangalore kind of weather because uh, we're not looking at extreme uh, you know indoors you're talking about indoors when we're talking about delhi then uh, when you're putting them outdoors it's a total different ball game because then you're dealing with extreme summer and extreme winter but uh, so then you would need to have hardier varieties over there you will not be able to for example uh, uh, keep calatheas very happy in delhi if you're not a experienced plant parent you know uh, whereas bangalore is a very happy scenario for pretty much any plant that you want to uh, grow because the weather is completely conducive to yeah. any kind of there's no extremes so that way one has to do a little bit of research as to what will uh, you know work uh within delhi also lot of our clients get us to ship plants to them in delhi some you know because plant collection is also a new thing uh new thing newly popular earlier also people used to collect plants but it was not such a popular hobby now it's like meko ye rare plant chahiye waisa naam pata hai kisi ko wo ye aisa waisa so those kind of people when they uh, you know ask us from delhi ki ye hame bhej do then we tell them very clearly that you know during such and such uh season you may need to bring the plant inside and care for it in a certain manner otherwise it may not make it so those uh, types of research points one must check and i'm sure when whenever people are going to delhi to their ro- local nurseries they would also not stock varieties that are you know that are not yeah. right for the climate because there's no point of doing that if they're, they're, they're doing that probably then they'll learn a lesson soon enough ikka dukka koi rakhta hoga but you're saying plant collecting is a thing like people oh, collect yeah. and show off their collections and all oh you have no idea it is an insane um, market and it's like now because there's instagram and you can really show off and etc earlier like my mom was a plant collector she would know names and she would you know go around getting cuttings from her friends and this and that um uh, for her also it was about having this one rare color of some flower or you know this one rare variety of some philodendron and this and that but now it's become extremely extremely commercial so um, i mean even tomorrow if you start collecting suddenly you like main kaat ke isko aur bana ke bech deta hu chal main swap kar leta hu iski jagah kuch naya le leta hu to it's a it's like uh, it's an addiction it's no, like collecting matlab, art log fd todde hain aajkal plants khareedne ke liye i kid you not <laughs> yeah yeah, yeah. <laughs> i kid you not well hype hype plants yeah if if, if you're spending 60 lakhs on a plant yeah it's no that person doesn't need to break fd <laughs> <laughs> great no, no, it yeah. is it uh, is a big thing now plant collection tell me about certain plants that you should definitely avoid I, again in in the context of bombay delhi bangalore all all, all cities mm aisa kuch nahi hai so like i think it depends on uh, so if you have pets you should avoid certain plants for sure uh within like it the, the the point is to find find out how to care for the plant and if you know that then you can pretty much keep any plant yeah. but, you know, but if you say that uh, if you have a pet avoid certain plants which kind of plants so, so avoid like, uh, there is a uh, variety called diffenbachia which is commonly known known as uh, dumb cane which is like it can be fatal if ingested and it's a very you common know? house plant it's it's from the bygone era it's been actually been yeah. a very common house plant extremely poisonous uh i can so we can list out the ones which are safer you correct know? yeah uh palms overall are considered to be safer ferns calatheas 
pachira uh, like a zizi and all you should avoid you know uh, anything with a lot of uh, color generally like aglonema should be avoided they'll also be toxic so there That's is a in terms of when you have a pet or a young child all, at yeah, all because they'll cause irritation or you know diarrhea or the runnies or something so in general you can pretty much get any plant you want to get you know for yourself you should know you know a lot of time times clients don't even know and again i'm not trying to you know uh, point something out but it's a reality uh, you should know the name you should know the variety you know uh, because if you don't then you're sort of not showing that level of commitment towards something that you've bought and then you want to take care of i'm being a little blunt right now but uh, as people who've bought plants as non plant people running a nursery kind of folks uh, we've also killed a lot of plants but we sort of uh, figured out what we did wrong you know if you don't figure that out no amount of hand holding is really and like you're saying you know ki it's uh how how do we not kill house plant so it 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 takes time and patience basically and to get to know the plant so let's yeah. jump into that how to not kill good. plants and uh, and considering plants can be expensive yeah 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 uh, so basically uh, like we said right in the beginning that when people come to us asking for plants the the few parameters that we sort of try and list out and accordingly recommend varieties is so that see when you get uh, light is the biggest uh, factor when you're trying to get a plant what kind of sunlight are you being able to offer the plant if at all uh, so if you get the right plants for the kind of light that you have your 80% of maintenance is done pretty much done yeah right so the plant is going to just do mostly its own thing you water it and you give it some khad every now and then but if you get the wrong plant for the light that you want to keep it in uh you're screwed because then har roz ka aapka ye kuch natak hoga nahi main nahi karungi nahi jana mujhe you know <laughs> so what do you want to do then to wo aapka matlab people come to us saying champa indoor rakh lenge nahi rakh sakte ho yaar theek hai hafte 10 din chal jayega mahine chal jayega but it'll get keeda it'll constantly be unhappy it'll never flower those kind of things to uh, bogen will you indoors people want like have you ever seen one indoors kya baat kar rahe ho yaar just because you know some fake kisi ne laga ke kuch photo dal diya hoga to those are things that one has to be very very clear about and when somebody is telling you nahi chalega there is a reason behind it i mean mujhe kya hai meri sale ho rahi hai but uh, so sunlight is one major sunlight factor sunlight is one major factor Or natural light essentially yeah. Yeah. so if there is low light then you get stuff accordingly if the, if you have a lot of great light then you can actually play with a lot many more varieties uh apart from that uh, you know you should be realistic in terms of how much you can actually personally care for them one thing is to get it and then just tell your help ki ha ye isme itna pani dal do wagera kar do which we all end up doing but uh, every now and then one has to kind of personally also check because uh these things become blind spots for when a help is doing a lot of other chores in the house also it's not like they're ignoring this they're probably doing their best but uh, their idea of it being um happy and healthy also could differ from how you want it looking so one has to every now and then you know be very clear about giving some personal attention uh that goes a long way in not killing a house plant because you will see the sound signs of distress much earlier uh that way uh so by when i said realistic uh, i meant ke आपका किस तरह का वर्क स्केड्यूल है इफ़ यू आर कॉन्स्टेंटली बिजी यू कॉन्स्टेंटली आउट दैन गेट फ्यूअर प्लांट्स ऑल्सो गेट फार मोर हार्डी वंस विच कैन सॉर्ट ऑफ थ्राइव ऑन निगलेक्ट एंड यू डोंट हैव टू डू मच सो देन लेट्स नॉट बी वेरी एम्बिशियस अबाउट कि मुझे ये भी एक्जॉटिक चाहिए वो भी ऐसा चाहिए सो लाइक द टू बिगेस्ट फैक्टर्स वन इज लो लाइट और लो नेचुरल लाइट ओके एंड सेकेंड इज ओवर वाटरिंग एंड दीज टू काइंड ऑफ गो हैंड इन हैंड So when you have a plant which is in a very shaded spot, doesn't get a lot of natural light, uh, the soil is going to take that much longer to dry. You put a pot out in the sun, it'll dry in a day. You put it in a shaded spot, it might take five days. Uh, so what tends to happen is uh, we put a plant in a shaded corner, we give it water every three days, you know, while you should give it once a week, and then certain leaves turn brown. Now. in our heads logically we see a leaf turn brown we think pani kam hai our first response is to water more but leaves will turn different shades of brown yellow or brown because of overwatering as well 
इंटरनेट इज अ ग्रेट इट्स अ vast resource of information you know you will find the simplest of answers with one quick search at times uh, so which is where the personal element comes in because if you're not looking at it personally then you might just miss you may, may not even sit down to research so much so wait the right amount of light and the right amount of watering they're pretty much the two keys what we generally recommend is you can err on the side of under watering okay over is the deadlier uh, पॉसिबिलिटी बिकॉज उसमें रूट रॉट विल हैपन फंगस विल हैपन द स्टेम विल टर्न टू पल्प ऑल मोर थिंग्स विल गो रॉन्ग अ प्लांट माइट लाइक सो दर्ज अ वराइटी कॉल्ड फिटोनिया और अ नर्व प्लांट तो बहुत मूडी है उसको पानी जब कम होता है ना उसके पत्ते एकदम ड्रामेटिकली बिल्ट ऐसे बिल्ट हो जाते हैं एंड यू वॉटर इट फिफ्टीन मिनट्स लेटर देल पक देल बी पक सो Uh, but if I keep watering it, it'll turn to pulp and just dissolve into the soil in a week. Yeah. <laughs> so, आप समझ रहे हो तो under watering sort of uh, is still the right error to make if there is one. And like Komal said, you look for the signs. कि are the leaves falling? Are they drooping? Are they turning yellow? You know, uh, and look for the signs early. So what happens? So uh, this is from personal experience. Uh, Traveler's palm. One leaf starts to brown on the edges, and uh, brown like a crisp kind of brown. Yeah, crisp kind of brown. That's underwatering. That's underwatering. Yeah, yeah I need to change that. Usually, uh, if if it's an overwatering case, uh, it'll be more like yellow, or even if it's brown, then it'll be a squishy kind of brown. No, it's not squishy. This brown. is like yeah, like uh, almost like tearing up mm. on the edges. Then it's uh, underwatering. an underwatering scenario. Could also be, um, you know, sometimes when plants are in a very windy setup. Or if the fan is on too high and they're too close to the draft, um, us case me that constant movement can also give the leaves ka tips a little bit of browning or it's because injuries because they are not being able to, you know. If I also sit under a fan constantly, so skin pe kuch hoega na thoda to. Also, if a leaf browns, uh, again taking a traveler's palm example, are you supposed to cut it off on the edges? Um, aesthetically, you can uh, do that. Technically, there is no need to because it will ultimately fall brown uh, again on its own. You put it yeah, or then the brown portion will fall off after a point. So I'm not helping the plant by doing that. No, not really. Does that, that uh, plant doesn't care? <laughs> Coming back to the fan thing you mentioned, and again, it's a point I would have never imagined. Uh, ACs and fans. ACs how does that fans. come into play? The draft. You so, can't have a direct draft on the plant. So in nature, hawa puri din to nahi chalti na. Ah, fair. So if if and that's the environment that they've come from. So it's not like they're now you can take a, a, a coconut tree by the seaside, or there are various varieties which grow next to the sea. They can technically withstand, you know, a breeze. And the leaves are designed like that. So the the leaves are very needle-like. They're very thin. They allow air to pass. You know. So so nature has designed plants according to where they come from, where they grow. You know, but. house plants technically are in the forest from the tropical forest growing under trees in the you know uh, uh they like the undergrowth of the forest right so they don't like like if you put a monstera which is constantly under the fan wo pareshan ho jayega after a while it'll say ki boss abhi do yeah, the yeah. leaves are designed to allow you know some amount of air to pass they have the fenestrations but uh no plant will like a fan running 24 hours overhead and the plant keeps moving uh that will affect the health of the plant yeah so again look at more corners like you said earlier right yeah yeah, yeah. avoid direct drafts whether it's ac or fan uh, generally avoidable i also read somewhere uh, when i was researching uh, plant people that i think in some article you said that you can even convert a shower cubicle into a garden uh, uh. tell me more about that because i think that is like like, like a bathroom can be a space where, which can really at least uh, visually a uh, benefit from so plants so we've yeah, we've actually done that uh, we've done that for a client uh it be, so you have to be plant crazy enough to do that firstly because 
um, you're basically dedicating all your little bathroom space to plants. Um, then you have to be careful about the varieties that you choose that because they will have to uh, be happy with all the humidity that they will have in the cubicle. And in terms of light, most bathrooms are not extremely brightly lit. They, at max, they might have a, you know, dull sir window kind of scenario. So in this particular one, we had uh, used some, um, you know, artificial lights to simulate daylight. So that uh, then basically you give them light in a in like a reverse cycle. Then you leave them on during the night because in the it. daytime, it's anyway pretty dark. So then you kind of uh, are playing with the um, with the day and night for the plant. So you leave the lights on during the night and uh, the rest, humidity and watering anyway, you're, you're sort of working with varieties that will deal with that. And then uh, whatever shelves, etc. you have, those can be used if you want to go, uh, like if you want to be more ambitious with it, one can build more stuff to put more plants with. That's pretty much it. Uh, so yeah, so so you can put monsteras, you can put ferns, you can put palm variety, stuff that likes a lot of humidity. Calatheas, uh, Calatheas are very happy with that kind of scenario. So yeah, uh, it was a, it was pretty much it nai cubicle tha, but we, I think we got some 30 odd plants in. Hmm. Wow. Small pots, but. <laughs> we take a quick break and when we come back, a few more tips on how not to kill plants and also perhaps starting with your first five, six plants for your house. Hello, 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 everybody. It's been another great week on the IVM Podcast Network. Varta Lab is back with its fourth season. Join Akash Mehta and Naveen Narona as they talk to a range of guests with funny and insightful anecdotes. Don't miss their first episode with actor Vishal Malhotra. On Future Proofing, Eklavi is joined by Dr. Pawan Rane. They discuss the role of the metaverse in healthcare. On Simplified, the hosts discuss how technical breakthroughs will help the viewing experience of the upcoming FIFA World Cup. On Cyrus Says, Cyrus talks to actor Sunny Kaushal. They talk about his early days in theatre, his breakthrough performances and belonging to a film family. And on the Musafir story, solo traveller Ayush gives us a glimpse of the hill town Kanur and his famous toy train. I'd like to remind you all about our merchandise once again. We got some amazing stuff out there with more coming soon. But go to the IBM Podcast website and check out our collection of t-shirts. You have to click on the shop tab and we'll take you to our partner Grow91's website. Do follow us on social media. We're IBM Podcast on Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, and LinkedIn. And remember, if you're enjoying this show or any of our other shows for that matter, please do tell a friend. Hey, you want somebody to talk to your shows about, right? So talk to them about them. Also, don't forget to rate us on any platforms you're listening to us on. And remember, you can check us out on YouTube. And finally, we would like to thank our sponsors this week. Bode, Lifestyle, Small Case, Capgemini, and Intel V Pro. Thank you so much for making this possible. And we're back with Komal and Angad discussing how not to kill plants. You were telling me you have a few more tips to talk about. Uh, yeah, so uh, speaking about the watering uh, scenario, we've touched upon the fact that one, you know, should uh, stay towards the... Uh, when in doubt, under watering <coughs> is okay, over is not. Uh, we usually tell our clients that, uh, you know... <coughs> Underwatering is like you got thirsty, you had water and you're okay. But overwatering is like uh, you're drowning and you don't know how to swim, you don't know what the hell to do, you're gone. That's a great way to put so it. There is no coming back from overwatering and root rot. Mostly there isn't. Um, or at least it's more complicated to do. Like, you know, underwatering you can just fix by adding water. The other thing is see one also a lot of times when people send us pictures of their plants not uh, looking happy we ask them two two very clear questions but we never get a clear answer we ask them how much are you watering it and how often because those two are very uh, two separate <coughs> things you might say nahi nahi maine zyada pani nahi dala par tumne shayad bahut hi kam dal diya because you're saying zyada pani nahi matlab you said aapne ek hafte mein ek bar dalne ke liye bola maine ek hafte mein ek bar par kitna dala half a cup now if it's a large pot half a cup will never make it it's never going down to the roots you know so you have to be uh, intuitive in that sense also okay if it's if you're dealing with a small pot okay half a cup one cup depending on the size of the pot so you have to you know uh, take care in that sense ki massive pots 20 inches pots 26 inch pots and they're putting one cup half a cup that doesn't work 
so just be very very clear ki when we uh, water plants we want to water them very well so that uh, as much that the water seeps out from the bottom of the pot so okay. we are we are sure that the roots have properly got water we are not just you know wetting it on top and think ki humne kar diya hai par wo hua nahi kuch bhi so that's uh, yeah and then wait for it to dry up in between uh, before we water again and how do you check if it's dried up you you stick your finger into the soil and uh, about an inch deep you will know if the top soil is properly dry is when you water because when the top soil is dry the inner soil is still holding some moisture so we don't want to constantly have the plant sitting in moisture so we usually use that method over a period of time um dekhne se aapko samajh aa jayega you will not even need to check the soil you look at the plant and you'll know it's it's you know in need of water so until you get to that stage of uh, you know um like a relationship with the plant till then you check soil and uh, water what uh, about what about fertilizers or khad and stuff yeah so uh, again that's something that a lot of people tend to overdo um it's ultimately a pot which is you know got limited soil it's not getting um what do you say you're not flushing it out every day right so sometimes <coughs> people do this every week khad and all that it just tends to uh, sort of change the composition of the soil to an extent which may not be good for the plant you don't need so much khad so depending on the kind of plant it is also depending on season like uh, winter season is mostly a dormant season for most plants so you will go easy on the khad as well as the watering uh during the monsoons you will want to really you know um sort of step on it in terms of khad and watering both so that's also something that as per the plant variety you must try and understand uh when to give how much it's not it, it, too much is not always good i mean so you know. so actually in that regard we usually recommend organic uh fertilizers or uh plant foods that's the right term rather than the 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 concentrated uh, packet ones because the organic ones will be more forgiving if you must keep adding then you know uh because the the values of the minerals are much lesser in the organic uh, plant food so you can add more frequently you know but the stuff from the packet you have to be extremely careful you can't just overdo it you know you can't put in too much nitrogen Uh, for a particular variety you know you want you have a flowering variety and if you add too much of a nitrogen based uh, fertilizer it'll just give leaves you won't get flowers out of it you know so so one has to find the right balance so we generally recommend the organic ones and there are a lot of options available in that plant food just sounds again super hipster instead of khad or fertilizer <laughs> so jhar jhar bhojan i think it's uh, also <laughs> sort of um, it's yeah. probably a less intimidating term when yeah. you say manure fertilizer yeah, people yeah. are like aur kaise karna mali lana padega you say plant food wale kaha chalo plate mein dal denge that's that's the that's the one other thing uh, many a times you know we're asked ki should i change the soil you know and this is a plant someone bought a month ago i'm like ek mahine pehle dala hai usko acche se repot kara hai why do you want to change the soil no no it's not happy i think changing the soil will help it's not going to help it's like you keep displacing somebody from their home you know that person is not going to look happy how often do you need to do that though repot you technically don't want to actually change soil we never change soil in the house plants that we have unless it's uh, pot bound a, yeah a, if it's root bound then you want to just kind, yeah. kind of give the pot uh, uh, the plant a bigger pot so, that is when you so just sorry what does so root what, so once you see the little roots coming out of the top soil when it's completely chock a block full of roots the pot you know you'll see little roots will start sticking out over the top then you know it's it doesn't really have much space to grow further and the pot uh, has become too small for the plant too small basically. for it now oh i have a monstera that has that yes. got it now the monstera would have aerial roots those are not uh, roots oh, the, sticking okay. this oh, is okay. coming okay. Uh, from bottom to top monstera ka aerial roots are falling from yeah. the uh, the top to the bottom okay. monstera does that because um, uh, it's it's a climber right so it will uh, put those aerial roots down if it doesn't have any support to or aggressively karega so that it has all Stays these upright. uh things to take support from so it just doesn't topple over so that is that is a separate, a separate. Uh, thingy altogether but uh, you know when you whenever you would see a nursery repotting something you'll see that some plants uh, may you'll see a lot of soil when it when taken out of the pot and some plants will just have roots you know lots of roots so that's uh, like it's root bound it will need a new pot because it doesn't have any space left for new roots to grow or even for the plant uh, 
यू नो इन टर्म्स ऑफ ग्रोथ इट विल सॉर्ट ऑफ डिटर द प्लांट ग्रोथ तो वो दैट इज़ वन टाइम वेन यू वॉन्ट टू चेंज सॉइल और एड न्यू सॉइल टेक्निकली के यू हैव टू गिव अ बिग अ पॉट और इफ योर सॉइल इज गॉट फंगस और हैज यू नो उसमें कुछ रॉट हो गया था तो दे माइट बी इन्फेक्शन इवन देन यू कैन जस्ट ट्रीट द सॉइल एंड अगेन यूज इट बट जस्ट टू बी ऑन द सेफ साइड देन यू वॉन्ट टू चेंज द सॉइल अदरवाइज यू जस्ट रिप्लेनिश द सॉइल विथ यू नो प्लांट फूड प्लांट फूड और कॉम्पोस्ट और वॉट एवर एंड Uh, and that will do the job mostly you don't want to really change soil another common mistake people make is that uh, if their plant is suffering like angad said chalo report kar dete kuch ho jayega uh, when you're when you're uh, you know not feeling well the doctor will usually tell you ki tu khichdi kha pani pi zyada fruits kha light kha they think kharab ho raha hai isko let's pump with fertilizer let's change soil let's no that's you know that's the time when you want to give it ke acha chal you take your time i'm not going to really disturb you too much you just like get better so that is the totally wrong time to be disturbing a plant and changing soil and doing this again within that there are uh, exceptions um, but uh, better done with an expert <coughs> if you don't know so much about plants then just kind of ask because changing soil or just repotting without knowing it may not may actually just harm the plant more than helping it so while we're talking about uh, how not to kill house plants with our headphones on securely <laughs> uh uh patience is key you know we we we've, we've been dealing with plants uh, all our life as enthusiasts and of course in much larger numbers in the last 5 6 years as people in this field uh and we've killed many plants you know that's so good to hear i don't feel so bad but uh, by kill i mean uh, maybe we had a plant which lost all its leaves imagine a 10 foot tall fig leaf all the leaves dropped for some reason you know didn't get enough light in the stockyard in the monsoon and uh, to the naked eye it's dead it's got no leaves it's just dry it's got branches you know it's like it's a skeleton so then we cut it because i need the growth to come back so we cut it at 3 feet you know and it looks it's a very sad sorry sight and it will be for the next 6 months 8 months it will take a long time to grow back now we have plants like those which have been cut brutally because you know otherwise the growth won't come back quickly they won't come back bushier and now we have specimens of such plants in our house for instance you know sometimes you would bring back this stuff to our house ki i don't have the space to keep it at the store i have those guys they've grown up back into 15 feet tall trees amazing you know i i don't have a picture as a reference i would have shown you at least yeah. here i believe uh, you so it it does take a lot of patience it takes a lot of patience uh, they'll come back they'll most of the time come back but you have to give them time and you have to uh, know what's the right step of course but uh, patience is also a big part because they will misbehave you know like she it like komal komal described it is a relationship you know you went on five dates everything's nice sixth one you you know whatever turned up two hours late and forgot the flowers and he or she is whatever not happy about it so you will have to give it you know a week 10 days to kind of get things back on track i think for so, me the interesting bit was not only overwatering but over fertilizing Hmm. is also a thing and true, yeah your true. first instinct is that just put more just yeah. give it more you know it yeah. will kind of recover but uh, so yeah patience is a is a big factor as well hmm tell me they what about pesticides also like uh, a lot of people you know they see the slightest sign of a bug or a uh, sl- slightest sign of a disease etc and they go around spraying the damn <clears> thing <throat> with what not but a lot of times uh, nature will take care of that mostly you know unless it's a really bad infestation etc we wouldn't uh, recommend just constantly spraying the hell out of it um there are good bugs and there are bad bugs when you when you kind of spray the plant you are also killing the bad bugs you know so th- uh, one should be a little bit uh, use a little discretion when doing that because uh, it's it's nice to know ke uh, nice to feel ke oh, i'm taking such good care of it i will not allow anything to happen to this but maybe you're just that extreme molly coddling kind of mother who you know once the child has grown up is like do remedy but uh, <laughs> matlab when it comes to bad bugs i am sure in bangalore and bombay lot of uh, mealy bug is the baddest yeah. it's the mealy Amrish, bug uh, it's the amrish puri of bugs cottony white thing you must have definitely seen on plants you uh-huh. know uh, uh, it's it looks like cotton sticking to plants and usko uh, bhagao 
उसको मत रुकना हाँ, 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 फर्स्ट इजिएस्ट इज इफ इज नॉट लाइक इट्स नॉट अ मेजर इन्फेस्टेशन यू जस्ट काइंड ऑफ वॉश इट थरली एंड वाइप इट क्लीन and make sure you've got all the parts of the plant clean because wherever you haven't is where it will go and hide and grow so uh, mostly washing will take care of it if it's a major infection uh, infestation then you will need to treat it with some solutions and sprays so uh, it's a um, it because once one plant gets it most of your others will also start attracting it so that is and usme se bhi there are some plants which are not so susceptible to bugs like your dracaena varieties your uh, zz or snake they're not susceptible to you will never really see any bugs on them but like your aglonemas your flowering plants edibles herbs etc champa oh, is one champa the frangipani yeah those are they just love the bugs so uh, one should always so as a while we are discussing about uh, upkeep of plants uh, during the monsoons in particular which of course is there everywhere in the country Uh, you should check the underside of any large leafed plants that one has in the house check the underside that's where the mealybug appears first and uh, dust ventilation and on the stems uh, lack of ventilation lack of light will kind of lead to these kind of things so one should just make sure that uh, you know they're checking under the leaf because on top everything might seem fine and just the underside might be full mm, of it yeah, yeah. you brought up uh, edibles tell hmm. me more about edible plants and how practical it is to perhaps uh, grow those or get those edibles uh, are easier done in open uh, more open spaces unless you have a hydroponic setup uh, which is a sophisticated setup to have indoor you know where you'll have your grow lights and you'll you know have the entire system nutrients etc but otherwise uh, you know uh, done the traditional way uh, edibles are best done in full sunlight you know where they have great ventilation and lots of uh, light throughout the day is when um they are easiest to maintain otherwise um you know in smaller smaller homes in city homes it's very very tough because uh, again they'll constantly attract kida because they are edibles you don't want to constantly keep spraying them with chemical um they you know a little bit of overwatering underwatering all of that will um create issues uh, because you know herb plants can be very very sensitive um people don't realize that uh, regular pruning etc is required you know you have to keep uh, pruning them to invite new growth otherwise the older growth also loses flavor after a point yeah. so all of those things if one can do it's okay to find a bright spot in a house and do it but mostly i've seen in cities it's a, it's a tricky thing it's a romantic notion to ha ki main ghar pe apna basil banaunga <coughs> कितना बना लोगे इट इज डिफिकल्ट इट इज वे नॉट डिस्करेजिंग एनी वन बट लाइट एंड वेंटिलेशन आर एक्सट्रीमली इंपॉर्टेंट इट लुक्स नाइस वेन यू सी ऑन पिंट्रेस इज अ लवली वुडन बोर्ड विथ थ्री ग्लास बोल्स सस्पेंडेड इन द किचन वो शूट के लिए होता है सर वो रियल लाइफ में थोड़ा सा मुश्किल है सो आई नो थोड़े अनरियलिस्टिक एक्सपेक्टेशन यू नो पीपल बिल्ड बिकॉज यू सींग सो मच नाइस थिंग्स ऑनलाइन but in reality with with these guys with herbs and edibles thoda it's it's a lot more trickier you know so uh i think on instagram a lot of people just have fake plants which people oh, yeah. do not realize <laughs> in the beginning and and some of those ikea ones are damn realistic they're very yeah yeah, yeah they're people very... people send us pictures of fake plants and say oh but your birds of paradise doesn't look like this and i'm like yeah it yeah, never because, will because it's it's a real one <laughs> it is not plastic <laughs> no there there are there have been times uh, we, people have argued with us no i saw a bamboo plant in the landing it's under a tube light it's been there for 6 months it's so healthy <laughs> I'm like that's not possible send me a picture it's a plastic plant of course it's going to look just as healthy 60 <laughs> years from now also that's crazy uh so hamare ek client ne ek bar apne fake plant ko 2 saal pani diya hai no and he's <laughs> without he, realizing that person is very good with plants yeah he's not a nov- novice <laughs> he's actually watered a fake plant for 2 years and then when he was traveling his his mate didn't water it so he's come back and he's telling the mate ki kya kar diya kyun nahi pani bhara hai usme bhara rehna chahiye so then she's like something's oh. wrong she told him ki bhaiya wo nakli hai nahi nahi kya matlab hai main 2 saal se pani dal raha hu <laughs> so <laughs> How did happens that? to the best of yeah. us. Yeah. <laughs> he got he got it as a gift, so he thought it's real. <laughs> Commitment. <laughs> And ah, uh, one more thing is uh, cleaning of plants. When in, when we're talking about not how not to kill house plants, cleaning is also a big thing that a lot of us uh, get lazy about or just don't know uh, that you know that it's important to do. 
so we must make sure that uh, you know the leaves of plants are dust free uh, or they will invite mites and bugs etc and also plants breathe through um, through their leaves so uh, just coated with dust doesn't help so we must make sure that we spray or you know wipe the leaves clean every week 10 days or so depending on where we are if we're in delhi it's a lot more dusty then uh, maybe that exercise needs to happen uh, more often but yeah uh, you wipe it with water damp cloth or something that's it a yeah. damp cloth basic water hose uh, if, if 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 it's in the outdoors it's just easy to hose them down you can just wash it down yeah. yeah or get a spray gun and just spray the thing with water uh one big mistake people make is very very commonly they make this mistake is to spray the plant instead of watering the plant oh really cleaning the plant is one thing hmm. for that you use spray yeah but tell they, that analogy na wo ha so they end up so they you ask them ki kya kiya kitna pani dala main spray karta hu are but आपको प्यास लगती है तो आप जाके नहाल थोड़ी ना लेते हो <laughs> मतलब प्यास लगती है तो पानी पियोगे ना और इस स्प्रे करते हो तो दैट इज अ बिग दिस थिंग आई डोंट नो वेयर दे रीड ऑल दिस और दे रीड समथिंग व्हाट्सएप व्हाट्सएप यूनिवर्सिटी और दे रीड समथिंग एल्स एंड दे यू नो काइंड ऑफ अप्लाई इट रॉन्ग बट दैट इज अ बिग आई मीन इट्स सरप्राइजिंगली कॉमन हाउ मेनी पीपल्स आर पीपल आर स्प्रेइंग देयर प्लांट्स इंस्टेड ऑफ व्हाट सी दैट्स माय इशू विद द इंटरनेट Oh, I'm pretty sure if you search uh, spring plants is good huh. there'll be 10 articles yeah, 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 on yeah, yeah. that that's that's the yeah, yeah yeah you're right but the fine print uh. yeah <laughs> no so uh, the, the get the right kind of plants for your light do not overwater when in doubt underwatering is okay don't over fertilize fertilize don't uh, don't disturb the plant you know uh, unless it's absolutely necessary don't, don't move it around too much don't keep moving it constantly you know the plants are in nature not intended to just move around constantly they are supposed to be in one place so let them be um, yeah for season etc you want to move and just kind of keep them somewhere uh, that's okay but mostly try to get the kind of plant that will be okay with that particular spot instead of just wanting to move it every day uh if you have to do that then make it a routine then don't make it a once in a while affair then be like okay main roz office jata hu 9 baje aisa nahi ki kabhi bhi work from home chal raha kabhi bhi kuch bhi ho raha so get a routine in ke okay 4 hours this plant will stay here and then come back so then it's fine then you're know, just kind of giving it some kind of a weather or climate or whatever last thing i wanted to touch upon is i know we spoke about that 60 lakh rupee plant but but what are the price points that someone gets into this with because for a lot of people you may not realize how expensive things can generally get so uh, so so if you look at pricing for plants you're essentially paying for the age of the plant okay you know so you can buy a monstera for uh, 300 for 600 for 900 for 2000 25 and for 50 so it's the same plant the monstera deliciosa but you could be buying a really small one or you could be buying a massive one which is 10 years old or 5 years old so you're essentially so that so th- that's an important thing as a buyer to know because very often people are confused about why is it so expensive or you know i got it cheaper somewhere else so you're you're always buying f- you're paying for the size for the age of the plant with any variety essentially and that's that's where the price varies and any plant will be available at various price point you know a jade is a very common house plant has been uh, and it's not really a house plant but it's been a fairly common plant we've all seen it you will get a small jade for 200 and you can pick up a jade bonsai for 50000 as well you know uh and again figure out what works for you you know in terms of uh, if you have a budget in mind you if you want a tall plant you can get one for 1500 as well you can get one for 15000 as well you know uh and within the same budget you can buy a small plant as well you know so it it it's good to decide that how much do you want to spend on a particular plant we generally say less is more you know get that one statement piece rather than adding chota 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 10 pots uh because the overall impact is much more you feel like you've spent your money well you know rather than if it's scattered you really don't see the plant at eye level doesn't work very well so yeah, yeah a lot of times when people call us to say ki you know we would like you to because we do design projects also na no? like we would design a space a studio or a restaurant or a home so they would uh, you know a lot of times they would call and ask ki how much will it cost to do up my space no i have no clue you decide how much you want to spend because uh, even a single plant like we're mentioning can cost anything right so what kind of what do you have 
what kind of taste do you have uh, and it should kind of go with the rest of your place also and if it's a maha fancy place then um, a certain kind of planter may not work then you have to work with so it's a very um, you can't say ki ha plants itne mein ho jayenge because like any other consumer product they can really vary from you know you can't say meko tv lena kitne ka mil jayega to ha to specifications batao na kaisa lena hai so it's it's the same with plants and uh, the right uh, i mean the base starting line to get a decent house plant would vary between say 50 to 100 bucks for smaller plants you know and then going up there's no limit then you can just go nuts yeah but i like the idea of less is more rather start with a statement piece perhaps yeah yeah, yeah that's uh, that's something a lot of people are now now doing because they instead of getting lots of small things to take care of then they, they, there's this big impact fellow that they have and uh, also it's something that is inspired of instagram and pinterest because a lot of designers will you know even if you're not interested in buying a plant if you've done up your house with a certain designer they will rent plants for their own shoot and they will put it in corners and they will shoot it and put it in all these magazines which people uh, look uh, at f- when they want to sort of get inspired for their houses so then they see that the presence of a plant does kind of make a space come alive so yeah that's big inspiration for people to get a lot of large indoor plants and you know it used to not be a thing till some time back um, it was considered more an outdoor thingy um, but now a lot of people are getting indoor plants yeah well thank you both so much i learned quite a bit thank you for having thank us. you for having us i should not overwater and overfeed my plants <laughs> again uh before uh, uh before we end the show could you let me know your handles of uh, the plant people handle so on instagram uh, we are uh, our handle is at plantpeople.in and uh, we've just started a new company called uh, terrapotter so that's uh, at terrapotter.in yeah so we've recently uh, so just a little background we've always had a love for terracotta pots uh, both komal and i and we've been constantly trying to do r&d and you know production for the same for the last 5 years so we managed to bring it together and it's called uh, terrapotter Uh, so the handle is terracotta dot in, and we're doing a lot of uh, custom terracotta pots, various sizes, uh, uh, and we're working with various artisans for the same within the city and uh, outside of uh, Bombay as well. So yeah, uh, that's also something you might want to check out in case uh, you know you're into pots. It's all pots. eco-friendly pots, so it's a initiative. Let's Very see. cool. <laughs> Super. Thank you. All right. Thank you so Thank much you for so having much. us. This was a pleasure. Thanks. Thanks. Cheers. <laughs>